Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Shabir Safi and in today's video, we are going to create a local Kubernetes multi-node cluster using Kind. So let's get to it. So the first thing we need to install on our machine is Docker. And that's because Kind uses Docker containers as cluster nodes. I already have Docker installed on my system, but if you don't, go ahead and download it and you can find the link in the description. Once we have installed Docker, then we'll go ahead and install Kind using Homebrew. Um, I already have it installed, but it only takes like a couple of minutes. After your installation is complete, uh, type Kind and hit return, and you can see all the available commands like create, delete, get, etc. So let's check if we have any clusters created. So we do not have any clusters at the moment. So let's go ahead and create one. Use the kind create command to create a new cluster. And optionally, you can provide the name flag. So I'm just going to call my cluster test. It only takes about a minute or so to create the new cluster. So I'm going to fa fast forward just a little bit. So our cluster is now created and kind automatically sets the current contacts to that cluster. We can verify that the cluster was created successfully by listing the nodes using the kubectl get nodes command. And we have created a single node cluster. Now, if you want to create a more complex multi-node cluster, we need to create a config file. So let's see what that file looks like. Here we have our config file. Uh, for our cluster, we will create a single control plane node and a single worker node. We need to add extra port mapping section to expose the ports of our kind nodes. The container port is where the container or the kind node is listening on and the host port is used to target the cluster. So just like before, we'll create a new cluster and call it dev and this time, we'll pass an additional config flag with our configuration file, and let's wait for the cluster to create. Great, we have our new dev cluster created now. So let's check the number of nodes in our cluster with kubectl get nodes command again. And as you can see, we have two nodes now, one control plane node and one worker node. Now, at this point, our cluster is 90% of the way there, but it is still missing one crucial component. So if we look at all the pods that are deployed to our cluster, we can see we have most of the components installed. There is CoreDNS, etcd, KineNet, which is the network CNI plugin, API server, and other components but we are still missing an ingress controller. Uh, an ingress controller is a layer seven load balancer that routes the HTTP, HTTPS requests to your services. To install the controller, we'll execute this command. So this has created a few Kubernetes objects. It created a new ingress nginx namespace some RBAC objects and some services and deployments. Now, if you take a closer look at the pods that are created in the Ingress Nginx namespace, notice that the controller pod is still in pending state. So to get this pod in the running state, we have to add this Ingress ready label to our worker node. Now, if we watch the status of the pods again, we can see that pod is now being created and it should be ready in a few seconds. Well, that's it. Now we have a fully functional two node Kubernetes cluster. Okay, let's test our new cluster. Uh, I'm going to deploy a new Nginx pod and I'll expose it on port 80 and I'm also going to deploy this ingress object 
so that we can test if our ingress controller is routing the request the way we expect it to kubectl apply uh, ingress file great now uh, let's just take a look at all the objects that we have created so far so we have the pod we have the service and we have the ingress object okay so the moment of truth from the browser i'll access localhost at port 80 and if we have exposed our kind node containers correctly and the ingress controller is installed we should get the nginx home page and boom there it is one more thing i want to mention since we know that kind nodes are just containers so if we want to access the nodes, we can do so by exacting into the containers. We can access cluster resources from within the containers using just plain kubectl commands. So there we have it. I have provided a script in the description box below, which will set up the entire kind cluster for you. And I hope you guys found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.